This is so hard. Oh, Oh, no, no, no. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be mostly in my kitchen because for today's video, I always talk about how expensive living in New York City is. So today I'm going to be recreating all my favorite New York City spots at home. And I will also let you know if it's worth it or not because yesterday I spent hours at the grocery store. I went to Tanichi, I went to Trader Joe's, I went to Whole Foods. I was just trying to find all the ingredients I needed for each of these dishes. And not only was it expensive, it was also kind of a mission. So I already have a feeling that some of these <laughs> dishes are not worth making at home, but you never know until you try it. The first spot that I'm going to be recreating is one of my favorites, which is Kijitora. And we're going to be recreating the strawberry matcha. <sighs> that drink is just so good. I don't know how they make it so yummy, but we're going to try to recreate it today. The strawberry syrup on the bottom seems very fresh and easily mixed into the drink. It's not chunky at all, very smooth. As for the matcha, I already know that it's going to be good because... Ja -ja! We have Nami Matcha and if you guys didn't know, my good friend Ashley came out with her matcha brand, Nami. And unfortunately, from what I know, it's already sold out. So I hope it restocks and hopefully you guys can get it as well if you haven't yet. But this is great matcha, so this is what we're going to be starting with as our matcha base and we'll work from there. Anyways, let's get started. So I just used two scoop, two really big scoops of the matcha. Sift it. For the strawberry mixture, I'm just gonna wing it. I have some condensed milk. I'm just gonna kind of go crazy because the drink at Kijitora is pretty sweet. So I feel like this amount is good. And then I'm gonna blend it up with a little bit of oat milk. Okay, the color is looking pretty promising. I am pretty sure that they add the strawberry syrup first, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, now for the matcha. Oh my god. Time for the taste test. I might have added too much strawberry. Oh my god. I think it needs more matcha. Mmm. Do I think this is worth it to make at home? No, because I will probably just go back to making regular matcha, but it was a very fun experience. And now I know it is very doable to recreate the Kijitora drink at home. Okay, now we are going to move on to what I'm most afraid of because I just have a feeling I'm gonna fail. I'm recreating shrimp rice rolls. We're in this together, so let's see how it goes. Here are all the ingredients that we need to recreate the shrimp rice rolls that I always get at Chinatown. So this is what it's supposed to look like. I'm back to make the batter. My biggest issue with this batter is that I do not have any measuring cups at home. So a lot of times for my cooking, I don't need to be precise. I'm just kind of eyeballing everything. So this is going to be interesting. Also, I just noticed I got strawberry sauce all over here. First things first, rice flour. Just eyeballing it. One. Two, three, four. Next, potato starch. Three tablespoons of potato starch. One, two, three, 
two, three. It's supposed to be one tablespoon of tapioca starch, which I don't have, so we will be using cornstarch. The shrimps are steaming now. Now I have to add the cornstarch. And then for water, it says one and one fourth cup of water. We're gonna add this. Mix. Ooh, also, one teaspoon of oil. Okay. And also, we need a little bit of salt. Just a pinch. That is a little intermission. I um, found out I didn't have green onions. So, we're gonna head to the grocery store really quickly. The batter is ready and the shrimp is also ready. So now we're getting into the fun part. Just a little bit. Ooh, guys, I'm scared. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I think I put too much oil. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, guys, attempt number two. I've been letting the steamer sit and I brush the bottom of the pan with some oil. And it says just enough to cover the bottom. So that looks about right. It's been three to five minutes. This is what it looks like. Okay, a little more promising this time. She's all cooled off. We're gonna try to assemble her. You need a plastic spatula. Okay. Okay. I think it needs to fold over. Oh, <gasps> guys. Okay. Is it folding? <sighs> Wait a second. Hear me out. I know it looks really sad, but maybe it doesn't taste bad. I'm gonna taste test it without any seasoning. This is what it looks like. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Okay, actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> Guys, this is so hard. After an hour and a half, two hours of trying to figure this out, this is the final product. Adding soy sauce. Let's try this and see how it tastes. You see, it's not bad. It's just not good. Okay, this is my really shitty rice roll. I'm gonna have you try it. It's bad, huh? No, pretty good. Pretty like, good. What I is the, wrong with it? I think the shrimp is like too tough a little bit, right? I also wouldn't like it that spicy. So I'm talking the rice roll texture. Mm. You think it's fine? I thought it was fine. But it's not the one that we get from Chinatown. I'm trying to replicate it. Obviously I, it's not. I thought good. it was good. Can I eat the rest or? If you want. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to be back in a little bit and we're going to attempt Kazunori. One last thought. It is not worth it to make at home. It is lunch time. I also touched up my lip color and it is Makeup by Mario Pumping Lip Serum in the color Pomegranate Glow. Love this, literally so good. And then I also put over a little bit of the Patrick Ta lip gloss in the shade Want Her. One of our favorite spots to go to i would say we don't go very often but i do think that it's a great hand roll spot it's called kazunori the price is good the fish is always fresh and it's a quick easy meal so i have a feeling that this will turn out fine but it might not be as worth it so let's start Oh, 
we wait for our rice to cook, we're gonna prep all the fish that we bought. I got a pretty good selection, guys. I have yellowtail sashimi, my favorite, chu toro. We have salmon. And of course, we have tuna. Time to prep. We are now starting on the sashimi. Disclaimer, I have never worked with raw fish before, so do not judge me. I don't know how I'm supposed to be cutting this stuff, okay? I'm gonna start with salmon. This seems easy enough, because I'm just gonna dice it up, I think. First bite. That was so good. Second piece. Wow, this is so fun. I would totally do this again. I'm gonna try the spicy tuna. Another good thing about making it at home is you can put as much fish as you like and as much rice as you like. This is the spicy tuna. Oh my god, it is ridiculously good. I love Toro, who doesn't? Okay, maybe I made it too fat, but that's fine. Trying. Time for dinner. My boyfriend and I are actually still pretty full from the homemade kazunori, but we can do this. So I'm cheating a little bit because making homemade pizza dough is a lot of work and that would be a whole nother video. So I bought these pre-made pizza dough from Trader Joe's and we're gonna be recreating one of my favorite pizza spots, which is Lindustry. And my favorite slice from there is the burrata anchovy slice. So that's what we're gonna be making. Just took these out of the fridge, as you saw. They need to sit out for probably around 30 minutes before I start baking. So...
the pizza is complete. Not too shabby looking. I'm gonna add some honey. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. It's definitely not Lindustry, but I think I nailed the toppings. And for $1.99 for the pizza dough, it's a pretty good deal. I would definitely do this again at home. I'm going to finish this pizza and then I think for the last thing I'm gonna make dessert. I'm just gonna make a sour cherry jam to go with some ice cream. Honeycomb ice cream with cherry compote. It's melting really quickly because the cherry sauce I made is still very hot. But it's so good. This is the second best thing that I've made today. The best thing definitely cause nori at home. So good, so easy, and definitely a better bang for your buck. Just giving you guys a quick recap. Rice roll, not worth it. This is delicious. I'm gonna finish this and call it a night. I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't know if I enjoyed making all those random things today. Definitely was a challenge. That's it for recreating all my favorite NYC food spots at home. Will I do it again? Probably not. You guys tell me what you thought down below. Thank you for following along and I will see you in the next video. Good night guys.